The next step is to add connections for each vendor and set respective parameters for each connection. Let's open connection for Green Telecom. Press Open Connections link in the Green Telecom string. Click the Add button to add a new connection to Green Telecom. Note that the information pane is showing the name of the vendor to which we are adding connections. We need to name our connection. Let's call it greenpbx.sippysoft.com to follow the fact that this is a connection of Green Telecom and to include the host name. You may use your own approach for naming connections. We recommend that for naming connections you use the vendor's whole name or its part as well as destination IP address or host name. This makes the system configuration easier to follow later on. Select the SIP protocol for this connection. Your vendor will issue you with a username and password if the digest authentication is required. If you did not get a username and password from your vendor, then you are likely using IP address authentication, and you can leave the username and password fields blank. Type the vendor's IP address or URL into the destination field. Your vendor will provide you with this information. We will talk about advanced parameters, number translation rules and quality monitoring settings of this section in more advanced modules of SIPI video tutorial. Click the Save and Close button to continue. The connection greenpbx.sippysoft.com has been added to the list of connections of Green Telecom. To add more connections to Green Telecom vendor click Open Connection and follow the same procedure. We have added couple more connections for you that we will use for demonstration of other sections configurations. One more connection has been added to Green Telecom. We also added one connection to Vega Telecom. Now when we have created two vendors and their respective connections we are ready to proceed to configure destination sets and creating routes for the destination sets.